Please welcome Terry Farrell. <laughs> See you again, young lady. Thank you. Are you as are you a Tori Amos fan like everyone else? Are oh, you? I am so excited. I yeah. heard there were free CDs back there. Yeah, Woo! we'll get you one. We can Will get you? you one. Yeah, I can get you one. Stop it. Look, look. Is there really a CD in it? Look, I've got a bunch right <gasps> here. Oh, oh, this is the one I heard about. Yeah. I heard it's really Isn't great. That, oh, you're excited. This yeah. Is great. Aren't they a bunch of cover songs? Yeah, they're a bunch of I don't know what they are. I'm gonna take them home. <laughs> look how cool she looks. <laughs> See, look at all that. Yeah, but I won't be doing the same thing with them. I'll actually be listening to the music. <laughs> Was that, last time you were here, it was about, what, a year ago? Yeah. Was I, sp I, I auditioned for Becker, right? Yeah. But you know what? What, what it happened? helped? What happened? I auditioned because you guys are going to make You didn't have an ascot on. Oh. See? You, you watched the show. I did. That's sad. That was last Friday, yeah. a week ago. Yeah. And you must stay up late. Well, I was, I was drunk, so I figured I could handle it. <laughs> Aren't all the audience members watching the Late Night Show drunk? Yeah. Um, yeah. Why didn't so I get... we had a lot in common, and, and it was very funny. I had a good audition. Why, did, why wasn't did. I on Becker? Do you know? Um, I know. Well, I didn't get a big blue box from Tiffany or... Oh, I know. had to pay. I, I had to give you a gift to get me on... Yeah. They, were, they wanted me. They saw the audition, but they couldn't meet my price. That was the problem. Oh, right. <laughs> Clearly, that was the issue. How great... Let me you ask you... You think maybe they saw the audition? Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. I, I didn't put a lot into it. Though. I'm probably lucky to still have a job after that audition. I know. I set yeah. you back. You, well, it it I undermined know. good years Maybe of work. Maybe I set you back. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask. Because we didn't rehearse. No, we didn't. No. There's, I don't know we what that. We should have rehearsed. I don't know what that word means. We don't do that here. We didn't have a director. Listen to this. Do you have a director? Oh yeah. Yeah. You do? Yeah. We have the best. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to look over now. Here. Look. Uh. <laughs> See how that works? Now, can I ask you a question? <laughs> I envy you guys in prime time. You know, I'm on late at night, no one really cares. For, for a holiday, like Thanksgiving, we, I get cash, they give me, CBS gives me cash, you're on CBS. I get, for Christmas, the SUV Cadillac, which is cool. What do you get? Because you're in prime time. What kind of gifts do they give you? I got this, okay, I hope your feelings aren't going to be hurt. No. Okay. I, I'm, I got this rockin' house in Tahoe. It's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm not lying. Did CBS have anything to do with it? Or you just bought it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. No. Oh, think about it. Me kissing Les's ass, you kissing Les's ass. Who'd you rather have kiss your ass? OK, that's mm. a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> now tell them, ladies and gentlemen, Tell them what you're going to do uh, next week while we're gorging ourselves <laughs> on turkey. What is Miss Healthy going to do? I'm going to the Optimum Health Institute to detox. This is like a spa, or what is it? No, no. Apparently, it's like camping. It's like camping. Yes, because I called and asked if they had like sweatpants and stuff, uh -huh. you know, because if you go to a spa, they give you, you know, sort of gear to wear. And the lady said, no, it's like camping. Bring a bathing suit, comfortable clothes for yoga, and your yoga mat. Wow. So you're, yeah. are you cleansing you, yourself? Are yeah. you, is there a special you, diet? Yeah. You, you fast for three days, and they give you this juice uh, to help detox your body. Right. And uh, there's three colonics. I don't want to talk about, we don't want to talk about colonics. I don't want to hear Monday's about. Monday's my birthday. I don't want to hear At about. At 8 a.m. I'll be having I don't want to hear about colonics. Birthday. Kids, if you don't know what it is, just throw my wheat germ. Wheat germ on your cornflakes. You'll be fine. Don't, you don't need anything else. Kids, yeah. because of all the seven-year-olds that are watching right now. No, these are, these are the teenagers. We, I don't want to hear about teenagers. colonics. Oh. Why would you choose the week of Thanksgiving, and then you said it was your birthday on Monday. Why I would know. you, why would you choose that oh, to not eat? <clears throat> Well, I do get raw fruits and vegetables after Wednesday. Do you get alcohol? <laughs> I know. Now, I, I don't know if I'm letting... Saturday night when I get back, yeah. So all week, <laughs> all week there's no alcohol, and I know uh, that you smoke cigarettes, right? Yes. Do you get to smoke next week? No. <laughs> I pity the person who's living next to me there. <laughs> I have a gift for you. Not now, but this is the last day. Uh, you're going to enjoy your last cigarette tonight. <laughs> And your last beer, and it's not any Isn't old that beer. Sweet? It's a special. It's one of the original ones we got here. It's very really? pricey. Okay. At the end of the interview, you can partake of these. At the end. Okay, and enjoy. Them. <laughs> what, is, what is the strangest thing you've done to get healthy over the years? Do you do a lot of weird fads? I'm sensing you're that type of person. Gee, 
How'd you get that? Yeah. No, when I went to New York, when I first moved to New York, I went to an iridologist. I don't know what that is. They, okay, well, Teach obviously me. I stuck to that. Um, they look in your iris to find out what's wrong with you. I'm serious. Do you believe this? How long were you there? Well, Say it lasted that. 10 minutes and I'm happy. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, like you 10 minutes. You walked out. You said this You walk and they look in your eye. No, I mean, I listened to I was 17. I listened. What, what did they say? What did they say? I, I was um, having too much dairy. And I was. I was eating like, I discovered haagen -Dazs. We didn't have haagen in the Midwest in the early 80s. We oh had ice God. cream. We had Camps. We had Camps ice we cream. But it wasn't haagen -Dazs. Right. Remember Flusion Gloggin? Yeah, that was oh, good. I like saying God, it. Oh my God, they went out of business. I couldn't. I know, saying it's cool. It's like you're sex. Because you're from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yeah. Wait a second. What, what's like sex? Flusion Gloggin. It's like, you know, okay. it's a mouthful. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're towards the end here, girl. Okay? Enjoy. Crack it okay, open. Okay, like, so. And I'm gonna is light. this for real? This is a real one. There's beer in there. This isn't like. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> open it up. You're scaring me. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. This is for you. Hop on that, baby. Slow to dissolve. Becker's on CBS Monday Night's Big Hand for Terry Farrell.